It's Bimbisir's voice. In this video, we are preparing manganese nitrate. So you'll need the following ingredients. Sulfuric acid, manganese sulfate, nitric acid, and baking soda. And a whole bunch of stuff like funnels and containers. And the scale. The first step is to weigh out 50 grams of manganese sulfate. Next, we weigh out about double its weight in sodium bicarbonate. Water with a slight amount of sulfuric acid is required to fully dissolve manganese sulfate. Okay, as you can see, it takes a long time to dissolve. But you just have to be patient. Keep stirring it, keep working at it, maybe add a bit more acid, and eventually it will dissolve. It seems the chipmunks are cheering on my chemistry as the solution becomes clear. I'm sorry, it turns out they're squirrels. Anyway, Indonesia's home to a plantain squirrels, cream colored giant squirrels, and various other kinds of flying squirrels. So that's an interesting fact. A lot of these guys around here.
Prepare a thick slurry of baking soda to neutralize the manganese sulfate solution slowly to prevent overflowing. You really want to add this stuff slowly because you will see why in a minute. You will see exactly what's going to happen if you do not add it slowly. Even when I said I was going to pour it slowly, it almost overflowed. But luckily, my mixing spoon dealt with the problem. Guys, don't forget to support me on Patreon, links in the description below, and also join the uh, Catboy Chemical Society Discord, link is also in the description. The next step is to filter the solution. If you have a vacuum filter, this would be better. Sadly, I only have the kind of filter I have, so I have to rely on good old gravity to separate this thing out, which took forever, but it was oddly satisfying. As I waited for it to filter, I looked back on the flask and I noticed this strange formation of like fluffy sludge at the bottom. It looks beautiful. I know, I know. Sludge looks beautiful. That's where we're at right now.
I don't know. Something about uh, manganese carbonate being generated just looks alive. To ensure less amounts of contaminants end up in your final product, it's good to wash this several times, which means even more long hours of filtering. Sped up for your convenience. Next, we take the manganese carbonate filter paper with everything in it and we pour some nitric acid to dissolve it and get our manganese nitrate. Despite our best efforts, it seems some weird impurity got into our product, which I suspect is iron. Anyway, later on, it's removed. I made sure that there is an excess of manganese carbonate because we need to ensure that we can get rid of the iron at least to some extent. However, it turns out just like Nerd Rage, I couldn't uh, get rid of the iron with the nitrate salt. It didn't work basically, so I had to come up with something else. It seems we have another carbonate monster in the filter paper. I think I should actually make a video on these because I've noticed this phenomenon with aluminum salts as well. The next scene involves heating the mixture just under the boiling point of water to get rid of the iron nitrate which decomposes at around the boiling point of water and if oxygen is present. Oh yeah, this manganese nitrate is very badly contaminated. Holy shit. Well, let's hope that uh, after this it will be crystallized out and cleaned. Guys, the iron came out. You know, all you have to do is cook it. Black, white, green or pink. Show up your natural hue, flamingo. Oh, 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 oh. If you're not covered, that's cool too. <laughs> Well, boys, I'm my iron-free manganese nitrate hydrate solution. 
you can tell this thing's got no iron. It's not brown, and it's crystals.